Welcome back to Let's Play Eador Genesis the Campaign Part 141. We are doing pretty good. This seemed to be very easy. Now the question is why I'm going here, because we need repairs and new troops. And with our bowmen, with our scout, we are near a level up, so I hope I get the level up here and then replenish my troops here and then we attack. What to do with our fighter? He's trying the old windmill. What to do with our guy here? Well, he's only missing just a bit of XP, so I sent him exploring. Can we build any more buildings? Yes, we can, and so we will. We need more income, so we build a mill. Our income problem is still active. So let's have a look. Five bowmen. Ooh, this could be trouble. Depending on where, where they stand. Let's have a look. We have first strike, which is good. Okay, let's see. Okay, that was to be expected. This is not going as planned. They have an awesome firepower. I must admit that. This firepower is really awesome. If I move here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, if I move there, I cannot take them down anymore. If I move one forward, they will over me in seconds. Fact is, we need healing. We need a secondary target. take out at least one of the bowmen. Next round we go here and shoot them. That's the idea. Oh, that was okay. Yes, come closer to your own destruction. We can do this in the end, you know. That was your mistake. Splitting your fire. Good, we can do this. Bad mistake. Damn it, I cannot reach him. That could be bad, but we can do this. Okay. Unexpected, but not that bad for us. And he's out. We did marvelous. We get command, which is even more marvelous. We take the mobility. We take the healing. Five imps. Why is that dangerous? Well, because they will attack the elves. And I'm pretty sure they'll be able to kill the elves. Because I will not be able to... T I will take one down with... Well, we can try it. But I'm pretty sure this will not end good for our side. We can try it, but... I have a bad feeling on this. We better get a little bit back. So. What can we do? What can we do? We can call for an air shield. Which will hire our assistant one point. 
Am I right? Not that it helps much, but maybe a little. It does not help a thing, if you ask me. No, we're not going so to survive that. Even if we call a zombie now, we will not be able to stop them. No. This is ridiculous. I blew it. They will be overwhelming me now. Damn it, I was close to a victory. And now I will lose all my elves. As expected. They are ignoring the warrior completely. What an asshole. Terrible, terrible. Our fighter needs a bigger army. This is totally of no use. He gets command, which is of no use to him. And he lost his whole army. You are such a moron. Whom do you have? One more for one more elf? So we will both get down here and replenish your troops. And we will buy new guards here. No, we will not take this. This is ridiculous. You are not able to do your job. And you cannot be trolls. So what you're good for. Well, I can send you in the arena. Question is, will you do better there? I'm not sure you will. But we'll find out. Can we buy guards or did we know we already bought guards? Can we build buildings? No, we already built buildings. Can we do something at home that might be of some help? Well, this one we can build. Oh, we already built one thing. Okay, okay, I got it. Attack. Good. Question. We can try this. And we invest the money in taking off some of their firepower by making them weaker. Okay. That was not that terrible. So, let's have a look. We should retreat here and attack here. The main problem is this bowman will not be able to destroy us, but they are able to weaken us. And if we move any nearer, they will be able to shoot at us. He's a double shooter, so we must be careful. An elf is not good protected against ranged attacks, so we cannot move here and then shoot him. We can try, but it's a little bit dangerous, and we have no reason to risk that at the moment. Fire! 
five damage. That's impressive for a bowman. As I said earlier, one of the subscribers uh, mentioned to use uh, swordsmen instead of barbarians. And uh, swordsmen could walk through here, through this rain of arrow without any damage. But my barbarians cannot. They are not protected against arrows or anything. And that's a little bit a weak spot. Well, at last they are not shooting on the front man. So, we move in attack position and try to get rid of the rest of them. So, if we move here, we will be... yes, we're in range. Good that we did not try that before. Oh yeah, one damage is okay. We heal ourselves. Okay, that hurt, but we're still okay. And done. Let's sync command, very good. Well, that's not that useful, that attack could be useful. There we get plus one damage for our main hero, and there we get plus one attack for all our units. And as we are using melee units, this will be of great help to us. Now he gets health. That's not that helpful. But we take the morale. Oh, this is not good. This is totally not good. Now we must do our best to stop them. Sorry for um, for our commanding hero. He will need to take the main damage. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude, but it's your job to take the damage. Well, I even think of not using... Well, no, we take no risk here. Damn it, it's so good. They are quite costly. I admit that. They cost nearly four times the gold that a barbarian costs. And of course, they are more costly in gems even. They cost three gems each turn. But, they do the job, and that's what counts. So, you can keep exploring. You should go to the arena. I think you can do some good there. And you should go here. This is a good province, so we shall protect it. Mm, we must do more for our income, which is still negative. And we're still working on that. And we should do something for our spells. The question is, what? We have no use for that. As we have a warrior, this might come in handy, so we buy this. So, we have still the problem that... The problem is, this province is unhappy because we have a mob guard. A mob guard is a quite powerful guard, but it reduces the population mood by two. That's the reason the people are revolting. The people are revolting and attacking the guards, but the guards smash them down. So this province gets unhappy, 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 and even unhappier by the time. But we can do nothing against it, because this mob guard cannot be disbanded by us. We must attack it, and not even we are able to destroy that mob army at the moment. So, only thing we can do is make next turn. 
We go to the fighter barracks. Uh, we always we fight at Novitz level for the beginning. The question is, how good is he? How good? How good are we? I think we uh, rely on our uh, very potent healer for the moment. I hope I'm not wrong. Magic armor. Well, that was not my first choice, but okay. They're advancing on us. I think we should air shield ourselves a bit. And we should heal ourselves a bit. Whoa! Magic weapon on a nearly dead unit. That's impressive. Oh, do you know what's impressive? That his units will be in striking range every second. So... Okay... Now he's calling for an imp. That should be his last spell. No, he, he must have, I think, one more. Whoa! That did hurt! I must admit that. That really did hurt. Let's heal ourselves. Let's get rid of that imp. Fear! Well, that's not our problem. Our moral is quite high. I hope he's out of spells now. The main problem with our hero is... Oh, we can rise... Oh, yeah! That's an idea! We rise an undead! And attack the enemy magi magician with our own magical creation. That's a good end. So, heal him and you rest. So... Our thingy here is nearly dead. The question is if we advance once, when he will when will he be able to attack us? When are you out of arrows? Now you're out of arrows. Wonderful. And you're out of mage life power. So, very good. At least this works out. 140 gold. Mm. Not as much as I, I've expected. Two Pegasi. Pegasi are very good defended against magic and melee. As far as I remember, they have no defense against missile attacks. At least that's what I hope. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, they could attack. One, two, three, four, five, no, they cannot attack. Hmm. You are a miserable fighter. They are quite good fighters. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I cannot afford losing my one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I think this could work. One, two, three, four, five, yes. One, two, three, four, five, yes. Okay, that should work. Yes, he hit us, we're okay with that. The main question now is, are we able to destroy the Pegasi by ranged fire? 
Ooh, nice shooting. Oh, damn it. It survived with two life points. Well, at least I hope it does not have enough power to kill one of our elves. No, it's not. We're safe. Very good. Um, we take the ammo, a useless spear, and a spell we do not use. So far, so good. We you stay in the arena. You is there nothing you can knock over? Uh, well, you're not fit to fight Normans, are you? No, you're definitely not. So I think you stay here for one more round and explore. Or is there anything you can knock over? Brigands. I think you're the one to kill brigands. That is something you should be too capable of. Okay. We repair our gear. Get ourselves better arrows. Is it in theory... Whoa! You know what? Yo, we're bankrupt, but what the hell? We've got an army of biblical proportions. I only ask myself, where is the enemy? I have no idea whatsoever where the enemy is. This is a small map. We should be all over him by all over him by now. Okay, we attack. I have so much ranged firepower, I cannot think of anything that can stop us. Well, except one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine halflings. That is an army. I must admit that. But perhaps our undead will be able to do some fun. Well, I think we better get in the woods. I have a bad feeling. After this round, I will stop the Let's Play. Not that it is uh, that length at the moment, but I've got company. I'm doing my Sunday breakfast with my brother, as always. And I have this... Zero damage! How is that? Eight defense against missiles. Oh, heck. Now imagine him standing on the hill. Okay. Let them come. Eight damage with a stone. Not even a cyclops can do that much damage with a stone, if you ask me. And the dwarves are closing in. Do we have swamp movement? Yes, we have. This could come in handy. How much damage do you do? Five and you... five. Well, I'm not taking chances here. Eight defense against missiles, six defense against missiles. How do you get so good defense ratings? And I think we need some more undead here. Just to keep the guys occupied. That is not good. Oh no, they're starting shooting on the elves. And my elves are not very good at taking damage. Damn it. Okay, they're closing in. Sorry for the barbarians, but now it's your time to rise and shine. Uh, 
pretty much think this will hurt a lot. We need another undead. And we need it here. And I think... We will need some healing. This is not going as planned. Damn it, you have the feeling you have the Hobbit all over you. Well, at least this is working uh, as planned. No damage, I forgot there. Quite good protected against missile weapons. Whoa, he take took out a, um, a dwarf by an arrow. That's strange. But okay with us. We go into fighter barracks. We are always ready and we are positioning ourselves here because I'm pretty sure the animal will use the hill to his advantage. And secondly, here is a, a small passage which we can use to our benefit, I hope. So let's see. The enemy is a warrior like us. He is not as strong as we are. At last, not as I see it. Problem is, we have no spells at our disposal that will be of use against a non-ranged fighter army. Oh, you're good at what you do. I must admit that. And the main problem is, they have tons of shields, so our arrows will not do the damage we need them to do. Okay, perhaps you shoot him. Well, at least we do some damage. We call for another. Yay! We did damage! Oh, we got damage. That fighter, that fighter, believe me, that's an evil guy. And the enemy did not start casting, which I find terrifying. Burn ammo, okay, that's not nice to be cast against an elf. Damn it, he burned all my ammo. That's really not nice of him. What do I do with two elves without ammunition? Oh, he hasted himself. That's not good. So... The problem is, with this haste, he's able to break through and reach the ranged fighters, if he tries to do so. Let's see. Oh, damn it. Have you seen that damage? We need healing. And we need distance. This guy is fast and evil. I'm not sure we can win this. It's fighter against fighter and he knows his job. But we know our better, so we did it at last. We get command! Yes! Very good, very good! Resistance and moral or attack power? Well, we have a very bad resistance, and I tell you one thing, 
Most warriors do not die because of their lack of hit points or their lack of fire firepower or their lack of melee power or their lack of armory. They simply die because they do not have the resistance to resist spell like web, stone and such things. So we take the resistance and we take the firepower and we take the ranged attack. Why? Because double shooting may... No, we take the double shooting. Okay. We did great so far. I'm pretty sure there's no way through here. We will attack the, prepared, the tribes next time. We will build a mill here. And we will power up our defenses here. Our fighter will go into... Uh, our fighter will go home. What is your resistance now? Two. Oh, damn it. That's not a resistance. That's a catastrophe. Um, you will attack the brigands. Oh, missed. We should take one more. Okay. We'll take one more. Can we do anything here to make them happy? No, we cannot. Okay. Uh, with so many elves, you might be thinking that our gem income should be negative, but it's not. Strangely, it's not. Eight thugs and barbarians. Okay. So, there is the enemy, okay, what can we do, perhaps we can take out one of them before it starts, Then we make a zombie out of him, and then we try to beat the crap out of him. But that did not work as planned. Oh, oh. Now is our zombie in the middle of the complete attraction of the enemy main army. And he was not able to do his job. That's sad. And they are closing in with terrible speed. Um, now is the question what to do, where to move. You move back. You move here. You move back, of course. You move back as well. You move in front. You go back here. And you... I need more undead. No, I need you to do not reach your goal. Yes, at least he's two turns in. <gasps> 11 damage! That what's this mean to get hammered? I thought a long time that the stunning blow means that the enemy does more damage, but that's not the case actually. It only means that he spends that you spend stunima when you get hit. That's a big difference. Now that was a real moron's move. So we get some healing, we move back, and we call for an undead here. He's berserking, so that that will be our end. One the other. But we can concentrate fire on... That was unexpected. Oh, this cursing. 
Curse you, cursor. Now is the question what to do. He is already enraged. He will do a lot of damage if we do not stop him. So we web him. That's the only wise cause of action. And we are cursed again once in a while. We heal ourselves. We go into combat position with all of our units advancing on the enemy. I hope that he does not have any firepower left. No, he has not. Very good. So we made short work of him. Very good, very good actually. We take the life points. That should be no problem. They are standing on the hill. That could be a problem. I hope it's not. But not sure. Maybe if, no, 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 no. We're not going to present good targets here. We'll do that another way. So that should be quite good. Yeah, come down from your hill and die. And now I will call for an undead to do the job. Very good. You're taking damage, but that's an expendable unit, so that's not the problem. He may die or may not. At the end of the battle he will be missing anyway. Damn it, I cannot shoot anything. I forgot you are not a wood person. No, he hit the elf. That elf costs 100 gold pieces. Damn you. Do you have any idea what you are destroying? Well, he did not succeed anyway. So we did good. We take the ammunition. Oh yeah, precise shot. We take the money. Good. Land of the dead. We will look after that soon. He found nothing useful, but he now has room for one more ranged fighter. The spells are okay. We cannot pay the repairs. Can we at least repair the weapon? No. Damn it, we have no time, no money for repairs. Can we kill Meduzi? We have a lot of ranged firepower, but I'm pretty sure these guys are immune to our ranged firepower. Million range defense by three, this will not help us. Magic weapon, that will not help us against Meduzi. We can try the undead once again. You can... What have we here? Demon strolls, not what we like. Arena, not what we like. We have a problem with uprising here. So we should... We have no money for the defense. Hmm. 
and their disk content. That's all not good. Do we have no room for an army? You go back home. You will take care of the Medusi. But we will all see that next time. So long. Thanks for watching.